my 17th video working from home near London, Ontario, Canada. I don't know about anyone else who's been working at home these last few months, but I actually enjoy working here. It's quiet. Of course, I don't have young children running around anymore. I have two teenagers who are pretty quiet and spend most of their time in their rooms or on their electronics. This has actually been a pretty challenging experience for me to spend time in front of a camera every single week talking about our mission or really talking about anything in front of a camera. I'm actually a pretty private person. I do post on our social media channels for the sake of the ministry, Mission Partners International, but I don't post much about myself or my family. And if you'd asked me a few months ago whether I thought I'd be spending time in front of a camera every single week talking about Ukraine and Belarus, I would have said, no, no way, let's have someone else do it. But here we are. Well, as hard as this experience is, and as challenging as it is, and as much work as it is, um, you might be saying, well, why are you doing it? Well, this year, obviously because of COVID, um, it's upended much of our world, including the way that we do missions. It's actually June 19th right now, and because of COVID travel restrictions, we aren't able to get out of the country at all. And normally I'd be in Ukraine right now. I would be visiting people's homes. I'd be talking to them and praying with them, getting their stories. I would be buying food myself, uh, going and visiting people in poverty and giving the food out to them. I'd be at pastor's conference, giving out support money to all the pastors we sponsor, and I'd be encouraging them with a message from Canada. Well, I can't do any of that myself this year. And it's actually really sad for me to know that I won't see any of them in person this June. But thankfully, we've still been able to send money over to support some emergency projects. And if you follow our channel, you'll see some of the things that we've been doing in the last few months. Thankfully, because of modern technology, we've actually been able to stay in touch with our local partners. And they've been sending me reports, pictures and videos. Now, they don't always have very high quality cameras. Sometimes it's just their old cell phone that they're using, but I can still see the smiling faces and hear their gratitude. And a couple of the reports and photos I have received this week actually made me cry. They came from some of the families living in very poverty-stricken villages. These are people that I know. And I was able to see the food on the table and hear their thank you to Mission Partners International. And in that moment, I was so humbled that God would allow us, me, to be a part of their story and help them to survive another week. So that's why I'm here in front of this camera. That's why I'm doing something that's a little uncomfortable for me. I will tell their stories. It's their cause that I want to support. I'm not here for me. I'm here for them. So let me share with you those photos and videos that I received this week. <laughs> That was Anna and her family. They live in a tiny little village named Stepove. Our partner, Pastor Vasily, and his team, they've been working in that village for a couple of years. The village is rampant with single parent families, depression, alcoholism, abandonment, and even sometimes abuse. And our team was able to share the gospel with Anna and her family. And they were able to dig them a well. The family had no running water on their property at all. Imagine that, none. But now they have a well with clean running water. And now we've been able to give them some food to last and survive another week. So yes, I'll sit in front of a camera and I'll talk about Ukraine and Belarus and tell stories because I'm passionate about helping people like Anna and her family. And you know what, I can't do it alone. I only do it because I have Canadian donors who feel the same way I do. People who want to know that they've helped people like Anna. And as a missionary, I believe wholeheartedly in creating a culture of giving and unity. You know, there are a lot of problems in the world, but we can all work together to make a difference. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.